Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be organizing my Taiwanese and Japanese mini binder. So if you're new to my channel, uh, I've only used A4 binders up till now. My um, almond binder is a 4 inch binder and I refuse to go bigger size than that and it was completely full. Uh, so I decided that, well, I would have to separate it in two. However, because my Taiwanese and Japanese collection are so small, I wasn't really sure how I could divide it in a way that I liked. <laughs> um, but then in December, I believe it was, or around that time, I was on Instagram and I saw a video about this account that was making a... A mini binder for collectors and I was fascinated because they were basically checking all the boxes of why I hated mini binders and they were correcting all of these issues and so they created the my collection binder they're known as prison platinum and they created sleeves that are perfect for the mini binders. They fit photo cards, um, both mini photo cards and regular size cards. They have um, postcard sized pockets, they have one pockets, they have a lot of variety. And their binder is just really good quality, like it is sturdy, it closes very well with strong magnets and um, it has a very nice but uh, minimalistic design. So it really was like everything I wanted nicely packaged. The first pre-order I didn't pre-order any because the shipping to Canada was very expensive. But when I saw in the second pre-order that a group order was being um, held for, ca for Canadian uh, collectors, I was like, yes, I am joining. And so here we are today, and back then I, um, I didn't really know what I wanted to put in the mini binder, but now I do. And so let's actually organize this mini binder. So I have some fan arts. This is going to be my front uh, cover for the uh, mini binder. This is from Can Call Me Artist on Instagram. So I have this Jimin fan art, and I also have JK's. It's actually an OT7 collection that they're doing with these fan arts, and I really want to get all seven. Uh, so far, I have five of seven, so I will find a way to incorporate the other three that I have. All right, so since my Taiwanese collection is very small, I decided to include it in here. Um, for now, I have one Yugi postcard from the HYOH Taiwanese release. And I'm going to put it over here. Ideally, by the end, I will have uh, four members and then the two units over here. And then in on this page, I have, well, photo cards. <laughs> A lot of them. I decided to sleeve them in the uh, Dragon Shield uh, white uh, mat, I think it is. So I decided to use uh, white sleeves for the mini binders because I think it creates... Um, nice background, nice solid background, everything's uniform, and it hides the back where you have other cards. I don't like to see the other cards moving about. So I think it um, it is a nice uh, little effect. Yes, you may realize that um, my son DeRest and I have a very similar way of organizing our mini binders, and that's because we collect together. Like, um, what can I say? We talk about our collection together all the time and it ends up being that, well, we share ideas. So for the Japanese section, I will put everything in chronological order as I did with my uh, A4 binders. So first we have No More Dream, which I only have Hosok. And then we have uh, Boy in Love. And I have the completed set. I don't know if I'm going to have any completed spread in this, so it's going to be... A little sad not to see a completed spread. Doesn't have the same wow effect. 
but yeah this is a work in progress honestly so then we have danger of which i'm still missing jk followed by wake up i decided for the um taiwanese and japanese mini binder that i would pick the um navy one i think is the color i'm not sure actually if that's the name of the color but yes i took the dark blue one because um a lot of the cards for the japanese uh ones are very gray or they're very um muted colors so i think it works nicely with this uh so this is for you and then we have kayunenka so we have hingis hosok and jk all right and then we have i need you so for i need you to basically make the setup that i had in mind work i decided to collect ot7 for i need you um which honestly is one of my favorite japanese photo card sets so i don't mind <laughs> it's such a beautiful set and it even has a group card so it's going to work out perfectly in the end so this is the reason i decided to collect ot7 uh for i need you it's because we have uh two more i need you sets which are the uh, venue and also the uh, Christmas card now who did I collect for this again oh yes because I have made a little changes in who I collect here and there so I have to think of who goes where sometimes uh, and you go over here yes okay and then we have run so this is again another reason I decided to do OT7 for I Need You regular version. I wanted to have Run and Run Handshake uh, side by side. Okay, so Run Handshake goes here, and then we have uh, Youth. So this is where I change things up a little bit. Now usually the best photo cards would be at the end because they are a new release. But these are uh, pictures from um, Blood, Sweat and Tears Japanese single. Uh, so I decided to put them in chronological order of the pictures instead of the release. So Blood, Sweat, and Tears is then followed by um, DNA Crystal Stone, also known as my drop. And then there is Face Yourself. And then we have the best fake love photo cards. So I'm going to put them over here because on this side I would put the... Um, Fake Love Singles photo card, which came out earlier. And then we have uh, lights, so I'm going to do the same over here. And then I have a two pocket for a Map of the Soldier Journey postcards from the fan club. One and two. And then we follow that up with um, Map of the Soul 7, The Journey, uh, regular photo cards. Actually, this one is a little crooked. Not just a little a bit crooked there we go and there we go okay we actually have a spread over here 
uh, with the um, Map of the Souls, Seven the Journey, uh, UMS, and UMS Benefit. Which is very colorful. <laughs> what I said about um, their muted color is complete lie with this set specifically. Then we have the Map of the Soul 7 The Journey fan club version. And that is the end for Map of the Soul 7 The Journey. And we have the best uh, jacket A. And then the best Jack B. Alright, and that is everything. It's a very small part of my collection. I'm just going to go through and add some um, Dragon Shield sleeves where there are blank spots and we can see in the back because, yeah, as I said, I don't like to see the back of. I don't like to see the back of pages, so I'm just going to put some fillers. So that's everything, now let's do a small flip through through this binder as is until my next update. Honestly, so proud of how this um, binder is looking so far and I have another prison platinum binder and I just don't know yet how I'm going to be using it but I'm just really excited to fill it up and show it to you guys so, but yeah that's going to be it for today so thank you for watching and I will see you guys again soon